I've been doing a little printing on the CR-10. <laughs> little. Let's get some of this stuff out of the way first. That's better. The CR-10 is a very popular, low-cost, large-volume 3D printer from Creality, a Far East company in China. It's a standard Cartesian-style printer with a 300 by 300 by 400 millimeter build volume. It has a Bowden MK8-style extruder, a heated bed, and a part cooling fan. The frame is made of mostly sturdy aluminum extrusion. If you find the right coupon code, you can have this printer for around $400 US with free shipping. That puts it pretty high on the bang for the buck list based on build volume alone. The printer comes almost fully assembled out of the box. You do have to attach the gantry onto the Y carriage and hook up a few wires, but then you're good to go. It should only take about an hour to get it set up and printing. I unboxed this unit during a live stream, and it was almost ready to go except for one thing. The Y carriage was way too loose to print on. I tightened up the rollers that hold the bed on the aluminum extrusion, and that did clear it up for the most part. Two of the bolts did have stripped out heads, so if you need to tighten them up anymore, you'll have to replace these screws. The paper directions you receive with the printer is straight and to the point. If it was your first printer, you could probably get it up and going without any issues. You do receive a warranty card. Wait, a warranty? That's what it says. I have yet to try this out, but let me know if you've had any experience with this. It says 12 months limited warranty from Creality 3D. So how's it print? Well, I have to say, I've done hundreds of hours of prints on these. Some really large ones up to 70 hours long. I even borrowed an idea from Press Reset and made some barrels for my scrap filament. Yoda is looking pretty good as well. Minor stringing, but no real issues. And a 300mm long benchy, cause why not? Everything I printed came out looking pretty good. I did try a few different types of filament. PET did make the extruder skip, but that's pretty common with PET and PTFE tubes. It likes to stick to it. The print still does look pretty good. I even printed all the Halloween decorations from my front porch. The printer is also surprisingly quiet for a printer this size. It does have a breakout box that makes things hard to move around, but we'll let this one go. Creality made a good move by putting these plugs on the back for some of the wires, but they didn't do all the wires, so you can't fully unhook from the box easily if you want to. So close! Inside the box is a Melzi type board. The motor drivers are adjustable. A full LCD display, your standard 12 volt power supply, but it does come with a cooling fan, and an external MOSFET that's for the heated bed. The Melzi does have Marlin on it, but you don't get a tailored version of Marlin from Creality. You can upgrade the firmware on the CR10, but it's going to take some work. Again, this machine is a very popular one, and I'm sure someone has already found a hack for this. The only real issue I had is where the Bowden tube meets the hot end at the coupler. The coupler was too tight, and it was pinching the tube, causing the filament to jam. On this printer, the Bowden tube comes from the extruder to the hot end, and then continues down the barrel, serving as its PTFE liner. This really isn't an issue, it's just something to be aware of, and make sure the couplers aren't too tight in pinching the tube. The printer is a little slow to heat up, the hot end and the bed. The hot end takes around 3 minutes to get to 240C, and the bed takes 40 minutes to get to 90C. I didn't even try 100C, I didn't have the patience. But with a 300 by 300 millimeter PCB, that's probably expected. The glass plate does come with some masking tape to go on top, I just skip that all together and go straight to glue stick. There are a few minor uneven spots on the glass, but nothing major. With a bed this size, it can be tricky to get it level, but the thumb screws are easy to access and you can even level it on the fly. All in all, no major complaints from this machine. It's easy to use, simple to put together, and so far has put up with a lot of punishment. If you're looking to print big on a budget, this is a very solid choice. It's no wonder why this has been such a popular unit. This printer was provided by GearVest for the purpose of this review. No money has exchanged hands, and all opinions expressed are my own. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up or consider subscribing to my channel. If not, leave your thoughts below, and thanks for watching.